Hello and welcome to this video. My name's Barry Beckham. At some stage, we photographers will probably have the need to record our own voice. We may need commentary to help us with a presentation. Sound quality should be as important to us as our image quality, particularly with the spoken word. But achieving that can take a little bit of effort. Now, the technique I am about to suggest here is not my idea. I confess that I stumbled upon this online. I tried it out on my own recordings and I was so impressed that I've started using the technique myself. It makes use of Audacity. Audacity is a free sound editing software program that you can download from the internet. It's exceptionally good and I'll add a link below. It's a safe and secure program, and I know that because Pictures to Exe and now PTE AV Studio enthusiasts, including myself, have been using Audacity for many years. Now, before we continue and take a look at the technique, what I have opened up in Audacity here is a short phrase that I've just recorded. The first half of the phrase is exactly how I recorded it. The second half, which you can see in the waveform above, is the one that's been through the technique. So let me press play and you can listen to both examples and you can see the cursor as it moves from left to right. There are some very good and inexpensive microphones available these days. So achieving a great quality in your voice recordings is now easier than ever. Now as you can see by the spinning round of the screen I brought you into PTE AV Studio 10 because we can record our own voice using this software but we can also use Audacity for our voice recordings too. Now if you want to use PTE AV Studio you can go down to your project options you can select your audio tab within the audio tab we have a little microphone symbol and when we click that it'll pop up on screen you can see the little green bar there which is picking up my voice at the moment I can click the record button and stop and I can save what I'm recording it's quick and it's simple so with the spinning round of the screen once again, I've brought you back into Audacity. Now I don't have anything open in Audacity at the moment, but if I wanted to record my voice, I can just press the little red play button. A track will open up and as I'm speaking, you can see the waveform is being created. It's as simple as that in both Audacity and also PTE. AV Studio. I'm going to make a start by closing down that little test recording I made. I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'm going to import the audio that I created a little while ago. There it is there, and I'll open that up. Now this is my original unedited recording, so if I put my cursor just before the sound, we can listen to just a little bit of it. There are some very good and inexpensive microphones available these days. Now whenever we make recordings, generally speaking there's always going to be some background noise. There's the noise of maybe my computer sitting under the bench alongside me. We can see some evidence of that sometimes. We can see a little bit of movement in this line here because Really, this line from the start to when I start to speak should be silent. So the first place we need to start with this technique is to remove any noise. Now that's a good technique even if you use what I'm about to suggest here or not. To do that, we need to identify a part of our sound that contains the noise. So if I click just before I speak and drag, what I need to do now is sample that. I can do that by going up to my effects at the top of the screen 
and I wish to choose noise reduction. From the top of the screen I'm going to get a noise profile. It tells us what we need to do here. Select a few seconds of just noise so Audacity knows what to filter out. Click to get the noise profile which will only take a very short time. Then I need to select my entire speech. I can do that with Control A. If I then go back into my effect and back into the noise reduction, now I can just apply it by clicking OK. Now you can see that the line now is perfectly smooth. Of course it's not a bad idea to just make sure it's OK. We can put the cursor just before the speech and test it once again. There are some very good and inexpensive microphones available these days. So achieving a great quality and it seemed pretty silent between the two phrases there. Now the next stage is we need to go into the effect compressor but I need to select my WAV file so Control A will do that, click and drag will also do it but if it's a very long one Control A perhaps more convenient. I'm going to go into the effects and the compressor section and the settings that were suggested here were mainly the threshold. So I'll keep this on screen as long as it's reasonable so you can take a reading of all of these settings. But the one I found works best for me is minus 18. One thing you'll find with Audacity if you come back to this software tomorrow and open up this same compressor after you've changed the settings and used them they'll reflect the last settings you created. But we also have the opportunity to save them so if you want to save something that's unique to the technique we're going through here you can go to the manage button at the bottom left of this panel and we can save a preset. So you could always give it a name as sound edit one and it's the first stage of what I'm describing here apart from the noise reduction of course. I'm going to click cancel because I've got this written down on a piece of paper so I'll keep it there but I'll click OK to apply it and as you see it doesn't take hardly any time to do that. Now we can see what this has done to the WAV file it's certainly given it a lot more depth there the next stage is to go into equalization. So with the WAV file still selected, I'm going to go back to effect and equalization. And down at the bottom left here in the select curve, I'm going to give the bass a boost. And OK. Now the settings here are as directed in the online advice that I saw. And it's working pretty well for me. As I said a few moments ago, Audacity remembers these settings, but once again, you do have a chance here to save a preset. So let's click OK to apply that. I'm going to go back into exactly the same spot and do the same with the treble. So back up to the effect and the equalization, and I'll go straight down to the option for a treble boost, and I'll apply that too. The next stage with the WAV file still selected is the limiter. So back again to the effect. The limiter is a little bit further down the scale here if I can find it. There it is way down there. Now the crucial setting here seems to be the limit to the decibels. I assume that's decibels there. And I found the limit of minus three which was suggested in the online advice I saw and it works again for me and again you can save it if you wish but I'm just going to OK to apply it. And finally I'm going to go to an option called normalize so effect normalize and we just need the default here to click OK. There we have it. Now during the process you can see that we do seem to have created a little bit of noise up here but I'm sure it's not going to be a problem because we're not going to be using that silent part because of course we can always chop it off anyway because the part we're interested in is just the voice. 
So let me put my cursor at the start and press play and we'll listen to it. There are some very good and inexpensive microphones available these days. So achieving a great quality in your voice recordings is now easier than ever. Well, it sounds pretty good to me. So the final stage is to save the commentary ready for use. We do that by going to File, Export. I'm going to export this as a WAV file. And I can put this in here as my commentary edit number two. And click Save. And we're done. Now one of the things you will notice about this technique, apart from giving the voice a nice rich tone, it also increases the volume quite nicely too. If you'd like to download this video to keep, you'll find a link to it on my website. If you're watching on YouTube, then please consider giving me a thumbs up, as long as you think it's warranted of course and maybe I could encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you click the notification bell, you'll be informed whenever I post new content. Thanks for watching.